Hi family and welcome to another of my videos. Today I'm starting this video without any makeup because I do want to go through or I want to show you two products that I'll be using uh, these couple of days and I'm talking about uh, face scrubs. I'm going to compare and show you Am a Pure Peel So Good AHA BHA is acid peeling and also Wishful U Glow and Zoom Scrub from Huda Beauty. So if you are interested to see how these works work, how they work compared to each other, and also my thoughts, then please keep on watching. Okay, let me just start to say that I do love. Uh, face peeling. Some I do prefer those that are not, they're not going to destroy your face, so prefer AHA and BHA pe uh, face peelings, acid peeling, because um, I feel like it suits my skin more. I do ha get breakouts. I did have problems with acne, and I do have combo skin, which means that my teeth don't get very oily. So I wanted to try the Emma Pure for long. I just didn't get around to purchase it. I do love Emma Pure's product. I'll be talking of the, about them on my channel many, many times. And I do like their products. But when I saw Huda Beauty releasing Wishful, uh, the face scrub, I really immediately thought, what's the difference? except the price. I'm going to put all of the information, the ingredients list, the prices, the website where you can purchase this. I'm going to link down below everything. Uh, I don't understand all of the ingredients, but if you're interested, there are, are the, there is the list down below. But I am going to show this to you today on my face, how it works. I'll be using this on this side of the face and this on this side of on the face for two weeks now. No, not two weeks, actually, a week and a half. And I'll be using it first three nights every night and then every second night. And um, yeah, I just want to show you and tell, I'm going to tell you after showing it how it actually feels and what's the difference. So let's start. I do have something to wet my face. If you look at the packaging, Emma Pure comes in a white box without any information and the M uh, wishful comes in this kind of packaging holograph. I like this. It looks very nice with information ingredients list and how to uh, use this product. Uh, this ingredients list and how to use it you find down here. You need to peel off this one a little bit so you can find the information down below. But otherwise it feels, this packaging feels or looks much cheaper than this one. Though the packaging um, I uh, like both of them, pack both packagings. I do like uh, Emma Pure's packaging, but this is a little bit, feels a little bit more expensive packaging because this is actually like a sticker that wants to peel off. So it doesn't really look expensive or nice made. That's just my packaging. Though I do have one more of these. I purchased both of them and it's like a, two of these are price of one this but if it's if you buy one it's a little bit more expensive than if you than if you get two here you get 120 milliliters four full ounces and here you get 100 milliliters 3.38 so you get more product in here than you get in here um, and price and everything is down below and I'm going to show it on the screen so let's tr use this one this one uh, the main difference also except the texture is that this one you use on the wet face. So I'm going to wet my skin. To wet my this is actually clean. It just stained because I use this on my face when I do the swatches. I did wash it, but it looks a little bit stained. Now this is clear texture. And I'm going to rub it on half of my face. Now, of using it two times, first two nights, uh, because I used it at night, it peeled off a lot. Then after using it more, it peels off that skin, but not as much as the first two days. And it's because I'll be peeling off the skin. I mean, there is uh, 
I don't know if you can see, this is gross. I'm sorry guys, but I just want to show you the difference or how it looks. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, and then you wash this off. Let's clean it. Sorry guys, I was a little bit out of focus when I was cleaning, but this is how it looks. My skin feels very nice, very soft. Um, it feels clean, very clean. It feels clean. Now let's go to this product. Now this product has a little bit different texture and also smells a little bit of like a pineapple and it's more white. And also has uh, like scrub texture. It has like it has something in it that will help it uh, help the like feels like it has some dots or something in. Now this one I'm going to use on this part of the face, and this one you use on the dry skin. I don't know if you can see it. But this one peels off too. Okay, now I have dead skin everywhere. So let's talk about the difference. Now, this my face feels clean and also very soft on this part of the face. Now, the smell, the texture, the color is a little bit different on both of these but uh, when I compare these two my skin after my skin feels almost the same I have to say application of makeup and other products afterwards works exactly the same now you can see I don't I you can't see any difference between my skin and it they both of them really clean my skin and took away the dead skin so there is no difference between between these products when it comes to actually do the things they're supposed to do. The only difference when it comes to the results that I can actually feel between these two is that my face feels, feels just a little bit more dry on this skin. It doesn't dry out my face, skin, it doesn't dry it out, but it feels just a little bit more dry. Here it feels more moisturizing. Now, um, applying the makeup use it these couple of days now a couple of nights I can't see any difference I can't even see when it comes wear test on my makeup the product that I'm using it works the same so I get the same results except that this my skin on this side feels just a little bit more uh, moisturizing than on this side but otherwise they, they were for me they were the same now I'm not an expert in ingredients and everything else or in the skincare I just want to tell you my thoughts after using and comparing these two and I'm going to continue using both of them now actually if I will choose if I need to choose one when it comes to price I will definitely choose this one because you get my, more product uh, when it comes to the price if I will choose the brand I mean I love Huda Beauty's wish wish brands too, Wishful and the makeup brand. I love Amy Pure, so I couldn't choose when it comes to the brand uh, which brand I I trust more. I do love Amy Pure. I've been using their products for years, so I do do love Amy Pure. Now the packaging. If I will choose the packaging, I prefer this packaging over this one. This this one feels because of the sticker. It feels a little bit cheaper and also I don't like that you can't see ingredients list on the back. I would prefer ingredients and everything being here on the package than on the bottom. But that's just my opinion. Also outside packaging. This is a terrible packaging. This one feels more, more high end or more a packaging that will trust <laughs> than I'm a purist. But I... If it comes to price and the results, I mean, if I need to pick one, maybe I will go for Amapure, but it's up to you. Um, like I said, I'm going to put information down below. Uh, and I love how my skin feels after after this. After using these products a couple of days, I have to say that my skin 
looks healthier. It also um, looks more even. I like my complexion a little bit more. My pores are less visible. My pores are clean. And I really, really love the results that both of these give me. So if you haven't tried anything like this before, please try it because you won't regret it. I like it. Now, you don't use it too often because maybe it's not the best thing to use every night. So every second night, I will definitely continue using this. And I will also continue using this on this part of the face and this one on this part of the face. And I will tell you after a couple of months, actually, if there is any bigger result. But after just one and a half a week using these uh, very often, uh, I can say there are no difference. <laughs> uh, but we'll see. Maybe there it's something will show after a couple of months but i think there is this is a good product to invest in uh, something that will um, bring your skin to the next level so definitely uh, i think both both of them are worth the money now i know this comes in a smaller packaging if you want to try it you don't have to get this full size this one comes uh, in pair or in single depends what you're looking for i do i bought pairs i bought through packaging because it was um, it was a better price and I know I love Emma Pure so I wasn't scared that I wouldn't use it. If you have any questions please let me know uh, let me down below. Like I said I'm not an expert in the ingredients and skin products. I'm just one that I just love makeup. I just love beauty products. I really want my skin to be as healthy as possible so I do like to compare and see which one works better for me. I like having my own opinions because it gives me a better picture of what the product really does for my skin because our skins are different. Everybody has their own opinion experience. Something that makes me glowy and healthy make maybe ha make someone else uh, break out. So it's the skin is ex like the makeup. It depends on the skin type and depends on what you prefer, what you like and what you're looking for. But like I said, both of them I do like and uh, I'm happy that I have. So it, if you want to get one of these, it depends what you're looking for and what you can afford and what you can actually get to your country. But yeah, guys, that was everything. I hope you liked this video. Please let me know down below if you tried anything similar to this. If you did, let me know down below uh, what brand. And I will look it up because I want to experience, I want to find out a little bit more about these kind of products. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I see you in my next video. I love you all. Bye.